woman to woman and i am adorable adesuwa osa Uwagye. today we want to look at the spice in relationship you know those ingredients that makes your marriage work those things that you must inject into your marriage today we say that a lot of marriages are failing our mothers had marriages of like 50 years 60 70 because they used to marry early and they stay together and they stay true what is happening in our society today where did we miss it you find couples staying together months on end couples will not talk to each other but they are married to each other there's a very funny story i heard some time ago where a man and wife were like they've been like keeping malice for years and all of a sudden the woman got pregnant and people were like how manage you know initially they were suspecting the woman okay maybe she got somebody somewhere and the man said well he's responsible ah, how is it possible husband and wife we know they talk where they quarrel how did he manage well the man said well hey, anytime i need the woman i just go to her and that and the woman will say no as the quarrel not ended with all of that they still weren't talking to themselves then people had to like intervene to say no this has got to stop you've got kids now what will your kids think about you so what are those things you can inject into your marriage what are the ingredients you know you want to make a pot of soup particularly edikai kong ikbang koko all of those things <laughs> my guest is from that area that's why <laughs> I'm mentioning those things. When you want to make a pot of delicious soup, you know, there are some ingredients that must be, must be added, you know, to make that pot of soup. And there is one ingredient you can never do without, and that is salt. So what is that salt that needs to be added to your marriage to make it fantastic? I'm not saying that there is a, a marriage that is supposed to be like 100% uh, uh, true or hundred percent perfect but at least you can fuse your differences together and you get a perfect union no perfect man no perfect woman but you can still work it out and get the best out of it so join me to welcome Didi Ekbe Young she's a poet she's a woman activist and of course she is uh, a very Christian woman and uh, she's here to talk about this ingredients. It's been a while, did it? Mm. Someone went to see the queen. <laughs> so, you're back now. Yes. That was your trip. Good. All right, Didi, what do you think of marriage these days? Marriage? Why do we always have to talk about marriage? We need to, because it's one of those things that keeps the society together. I'm not going to be very soft on this topic. I'm not going to be, like, talking, you're saying something about ingredients, spices. I'm going to go all serious on you because it's a very serious Please do. topic. I think everything starts from the premarital counseling. How many people go for premarital counseling that these is days? What well, that is what I mean. We have to wake up to the reality that we need premarital counseling before we go into marriage. Because most of us, we feel we know so many things and you will be surprised. You can ask somebody, what are the five love languages? And they are married people, they don't know. Five love languages? Yes. Please, you are going to, and you know, talk to us about that. Five <laughs> love uh, languages. I'm keeping that at the back of my, of my mind so I don't forget it. So it's, it starts from there, you know. Mm. The marital counseling, you know. Then when you're actually married you're in the house now and you're in the home now mm. there are a few things that can make your marriage tick you know and as i said i'm not going to be talking about cooking good food or wearing skimpy clothes no we've gone beyond uh -huh. cooking good we've food and gone, so even even some women who can't cook are keeping their marriages. marriages so it's much more than those surface things so I'm going to look at a very serious point that if you have that honesty, honesty, if you are totally honest 
to your husband or your husband you're totally honest to your wife your marriage is going to last why am i saying this is because honesty brings trust if you're honest you always tell the truth you say it the way it is your wife is going to trust you your husband is going to trust you and with trust you're going to be breeding respect trust brings respect you know that your husband is trustworthy your wife is trustworthy you are going to command your respect but in a situation where a man cannot be honest you go about telling stories telling lies and the wife is cunning coy and all sorts look you're not going to be having that trust and you know that trust is really needed to have a functional home mm. if it's not there so many things are going to go wrong and that marriage is going to be short-lived it's not going to be it's not going to last so let's first of all look at that when there's respect you're going to have this mutual respect for each other and things will move smoothly i think that's a major point in marriage what actually adds spice the ingredients okay. that will actually make your marriage to last longer talking about honesty do you think that it is possible for a man to be 100% honest with his wife and for a woman to be 100% honest with her husband given the circumstances that we're living in today and we're looking at today's society maybe in those days where things were normal as it seems our parents were like 100% honest you know those days you actually see women who tell tell who, who tell everything that they are to their husbands the husband may not be so forthcoming mm -hmm. but you see women who still bow or kneel down to talk to their husband who gives them maximum respect who tells their husband that okay this piece of fish is 500 naira and then it will just be 500 naira or this two bar of yam is 1000 naira and you know that it is 1000 naira but this days is different do you think it is possible it is and if possible. yes how it is very very possible for you to be 100 percent honest because i want to balance when, well so that i get are, it when, when you are the thing is let's look at truth it doesn't fail it's it has never failed anyone telling the truth it might not make you look like a very good person it might not make you feel too good but it will always make things better it cuts a very long journey shorter if you are telling the truth if you're being, being honest and you feel it will maybe damage the marriage or you'll be surprised that the truth can actually save that marriage how many people can you take know? the truth so that's what we are saying to have a long lasting marriage let's be truthful to our partners how many people can so, actually so when you say the marriage did not stand last, truth, when you say the marriage did truth. not last, that means somebody was busy doing something else and telling lies and not being honest so for a long-lasting relationship, a long-lasting marriage, you need to be truthful to each other. Mm. Let us say things the way they are. Let us handle things the way they are. Let's stop painting things like in, to make it look good when things are going bad. So that's what will actually make it work. Because truth a woman is a woman is supposed to go to work. The husband okay. calls. Where are you? And you get a reply like, I'm in the market when you're actually at work. Or you are where you are not supposed to be. You know, there are some women who like partying and their husbands don't like it. But they just have to. They must. So the, the thing is, if you're but they that. cannot. they cannot say the truth because... The, such a spouse will not be able to take a truth. A man is cheating. How many men can come out and say, uh, "My dear, uh, sorry, you, that's, you know, this is a, this, this woman is my girlfriend, or that woman is my side chick, or that man is my boyfriend, or that man is my side guy." How many spouses can really, you know, stand the truth and accommodate it? And that's why we are think. talking about marital counseling. It's like saying. A, a, a member of the winners church if i can i'm permitted to use them as you're a, not no. permitted to you're okay, not permitted not, okay. to use names. like okay you have a church that is all like about church a, church a church b a that is yeah. all about holiness they have a particular way of dressing okay then church b they are smart and cute for their god yeah all cute then 
you want to get married mm -hmm. you're going to the holiness brother is going to the all smart and cute god sister okay and they are going on in Digi courtship. digital yes, they are all going mm. on in, in during courtship like everything is okay and there's no counseling to tell them that look a brother that is from this holiness angle might not be able to cope with your digital angle mm. and crisis problems and conflicts might ar ar arise that uh, resolution might be a bit difficult because this one might not want to give up with their faith and this is where we start talking about compatibility people go like this one is not compatible with this one this one but when you were cutting you knew that this is the all jeans and t-shirt sister mm -hmm. and you are the suit brother you were hoping that you, were able you, to were change hoping that you will be able to change the all jeans and t-shirt sister which is not something that can be done overnight so when we are saying we are in courtship let's look at it can i cope with this person can i accept the way of life of this person if you cannot you know it's going to bring problems when you later decide to marry love is not everything you know, a, lot of, a lot of a lot of a lot of girls let me use girls now a lot of girls go into marriage with the hope that you see this man i'm going to change him no, okay. you see this is drinking habits i'm going to curb it you see the smoking habits oh no i'm going to show him that i'm an expert in helping people overcome their 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 vices or or, or their weaknesses and all of that now if and you, you go into marry with that mindset if you couldn't help him through rehab during the courtship what makes you feel in marriage you're going to be able to do it maybe because she now has ownership what kind of ownership? she has the right of ownership over so the man if, if he couldn't change during courtship didn't go like oh i am going to marriage is more serious let me go through rehab and get some help and if he doesn't even see that he needs the help what makes you feel that you can play god and change somebody so there are things we should wake up to reality hits you cannot mm. change a man neither can you change a woman who is already grown the habits and attitudes are already formed how are you going to change the person i've actually heard a man say look you see that my wife i molded her <laughs> i scolded her into shape now she does exactly what I, and I was like is it possible if the woman is not willing uh, you just married a very submissive woman that was ready to take the extra mile to see peace reign in her home and she decided to just have a peaceful home change but it's not all women that will choose to like change their way of life to please a man some can actually be like behave like tamed puppies married. they behave well you see them mm. they cook they actually go to the guy's house they wash they they, they almost if not worshiping the guy's parents they they, they, they revere them they treat them like oh no this is it and then the other side they see this girl as wow where did this angel come from and all of that all of that one week into marriage then you will see the true like Manuela would say my true face that kind of a you thing know what people say you say okay especially in christian marriages the thing is tell god reveal this person to me you need to do that prayer let me know the real person but would you know if god is speaking to you because sometimes we are blinded by love no 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 we no, have no. seen instances it's... where a parent will say no you can't marry this guy we have done our investigation even friends will come and say ah this guy is bad news or this girl no 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 this no, girl is bad news i say no that we are in i now. love her i love when her i love him i love him marriage everybody should wake up we should start preparing our children on time that we are going to if you are from a christian home you're going to start doing that prayer on time for your children mm. and let your children know that this marriage thing we are going to do a lot of investigation we are going to do a lot of prayers we can't go in blindly but by the time you just sit down and go like when my child grows up they will marry mm. it's becoming very challenging taking care of children these days so if you are praying you better wake up and pray hard you need to start reading up or attending lectures or classes on how to bring up teenagers of today mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. not easy it is not easy a child that so we, we, we should start attending you know, parenting classes now you know so you, your child goes out there is mixing up i have such a terrible experience a child is with you you think you know the child 
and the next moment what the child does you're like where did he get this from how did this happen and you know the world is there looking yeah they're like they are ready to eat you rather yeah. Yeah, you don't know what you're, you're doing you say parent. to your face you're spoiling your children and you know that you're not spoiling the child so if you're a christian you have to go on your feet for your children because it's not all about uh, the bible in the bible we are said it's not by power it's not by might so it's not by your power it's not by how good you are as a parent you need god's help to bring up children mm. You not just God, you need before we could see the community where sisters take care of our children. A child is doing something wrong outside, and another adult seeing the child will correct the child. These days, they just walk by her. I don't know who owns that kind of child, it's not their business. It's a what's so a consuming attitude, change, nonchalant you know? attitude. So, so life is tough, is. yes. Okay, now let's look at the issue of um. Uh, a conflict resolution because that is another thing that um, holds marriages a man and wife quarrels and the next day neighbors already know what happened friends already know what transpires uh, if, if, even the marriage counselors are not even doing yeah. doing doing yeah. much in the that aspect so it's how do because much. in those days I I know I, I've seen my parents talk you know, this one will say, uh, you, are not supposed, you ought not to have done that. You know, they just talk. Mm -hmm. about, but you, you would know that, okay, it's like this people just had a quarrel. They are kind of trying to settle. And it's always within themselves, you know. No third party. But these days you find third party. It's like, it's like the third party it's insurance. It's not supposed to be. The thing is, it's, it's, like all, about, like the way, it's all about understanding. Mm. Now, you're from a different background. I'm from a different background. I was formed and brought up in a different way. You were brought up by different parents, sets of parents, and we didn't grow up in the same place. So when you've decided that you want to get married, you want to live with this person for mm -hmm. the rest of your life, you must give some form of allowance. The way this person was brought up is different from the way I was brought up. Let's, uh, let's give a little space. For some things and to accommodate, it, it, uh, accommodate some, 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 you know, some, some lapses or so to speak or a little excesses or how do we put it then you can say okay in trying to understand your spouse if something happens let me try to understand let me put myself in her shoes let me try to understand it's not it's not it's not actually wrong to have misunderstandings in a relationship but how we solve or come about finding solutions to the quarrels, the misunderstandings is what really matters because you're, you're, you, somebody has to, as I said before, somebody has to walk the extra mile. If you say, oh, there's a conflict now, it is a, a 10 miles kind of conflict. To be able to resolve it, we need to walk 10 miles. There's no way you, the one partner will say, I'm going to walk five miles and you're <laughs> going to walk five miles. No, somebody will have to do seven, somebody will do three. Or somebody will have to do six miles and somebody will do four. So one person at a particular time must walk the extra mile. Okay. Because we are talking about having peace in our homes. If you're not ready to walk the extra mile, if somebody is not ready to do it, then it's going to be the end of the marriage. But if somebody is there, like, I'm going to walk the extra mile to see to make sure that peace is restored, to make sure that there is resolution, then that marriage is going to last. But the one that, the man is like, I, I, I can't do that. And the woman is like, I can't, no, 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 I can't do this. Like, of course. You know, so, so, some couples actually act as if they're in a competition. Yes. Husband and wife. So, uh, you know that, the, the thing is, if we win, we win together. It's our success. But the man now goes like, or the woman goes like, no, I can't give way. Ah, this man or this woman, you know, you can't win today. We are, we are in. We, this is not well, like well, we are well, competing. Well, yes, we are not seeing ourselves as one anymore. We are now seeing ourselves as something has gone wrong. So it's it's <laughs> that could it, we, could it, that's could it, could we it be, say, oh, the spice of the marriage is no longer there. Somebody is not working it. Marriage is, is a daily work. You, you must work it. You must put in some effort. You must be determined. It's like every second you're making a choice mm. to stay married. Every second you're like, I must stay married. Except the other one goes like, no, I don't want I it don't anymore. I don't want to stay married. It's, it's an every minute kind of choice. 
you're making that decision no i'm i am married i'm staying married the moment you go like i'm not interested i can't do this anymore you've already made up your mind yes. it's, it's going so it's not something for babies it's not for it's for the it's for, it's for the matured man. but it's you know but man. you know some young ones are actually more matured even than the so-called matured ones when it comes to relationship when it comes to marriage then what brings up like we're talking about the five love languages <laughs> what brings up some of these conflicts is as i said communication mm. and communication is where okay i'll talk about these five love languages i'm surprised you're saying let's discuss it's a normal thing like you have the act of service uh, words of affirmation uh, quality time physical touch gifts physical touch quality time but you know that those two are usually missing in relationship because of the kind of jobs that people do because of the kind of the, the number of hours they spend outside you cannot quality time uh, just just a man goes to work in the morning some people resume as early as seven some leave their home as early as five if you stay in lagos you are bound to leave your house very early otherwise you will not get to your place of work particularly if you're on the mainland and your office is on the island or you're on the island your office is on the mainland you know so, so, some 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 couples don't even see themselves anymore until weekend and when they they, they they are home at weekend they want to sleep just sleep no, let's, let's say not let's sleep before they start sleep. the work on monday you know again. that you can do that sleep that's very important that's, uh, unfortunately that's some hugging. persons don't even know that's how important <laughs> it is you know to, to to give your wife a hug or give your husband a hug that physical touch means a lot. a lot a lot you know it could be just a peck on the cheeks it could be just you just any form of touch the child, you know you know you i'm know, talking you, to those of you who are not to like you you need it you will glow you will look fine so but these just, are little mm -hmm. things that we need to do to keep our marriages alive okay it's not about some people just you know there are some women that when we talk about the other the other part of it that's a gift Mm -hmm. you buy a woman you can buy a woman house buy her car buy her land mm -hmm. it does that's not a love language it does not affect her that's it some, does not some. mean anything to her she'll be grateful to you yes, yes but something is still missing okay that physical touch that my husband is holding my hand my husband is kissing <laughs> me my husband is cuddling me okay it is more important than that car that you're buying for her okay so we 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 miss these things and we start speaking different okay languages. so can, can you could just mention the five love languages okay, again so that I we get used to the actors. to spice your marriage the you know to put salt inside that uh -huh. oh yeah number one we're talking about the act of service the act of service My husband getting up in the morning mm -hmm. cooking me breakfast uh, Act of service. Breakfast in bed. Yeah. Well, sometimes it happens only during courtship or oh, first years. Yes, of of marriage. My husband decided, no, the driver is not taking my wife to work today. I'm Let going me to take my wife. To work. Oh, beautiful. Act of service. Okay. Now, uh, words of like affirmation. Like helping your wife to do dishes, do, wash clothes, you know. sweep the ground, you know, it's not sweep the floor, you Bates know, that kind of thing. Uh -huh. Act of uh, service. Of that of it. It's not about, just a woman's job. The second one. Have words of affirmation. Oh. Okay. Ah, you did well out there. My wife, you looked so lovely out there. Uh, Your okay. presentation was great. Fantastic. Ah, I love what you said there. Hmm. Okay. You know, ah, that's that indomie you made. That was the best. The noodles, okay. You know, the, you know just words. Things that and daring words. words. You are the words of encouragement, life. okay? Ha, so let's go to the I third one now. I meet you. Oh, my world. You know? You so are, let's quickly go to the third one. Because well, time is not a friend. Gift. Okay. Buying things for your wife or your husband. No matter it's how small, it's two way thing. Two ways, yeah. Then uh, But some women are very stingy. They don't like to buy anything. My like a woman, most women is that my money is my money. Mm. Then the husband's money is it's our, our money. money. Change. You are the one I'm talking to. Change. Uh, Change. So that you know your marriage will be sweet. Okay, so we've talked about quality time. You know, and the physical touch. And the physical touch, okay. Yeah. I would so, say the physical touch is not all about just sex, no. Sometimes just watching a movie with your wife, cuddling. Mm. With your spouse, you're cuddling, you're, you know. 
Okay, let's let's take tea together. Okay. I give you my tea, you give me your tea. Little little things like that will actually make your bonding. You know, those mm. kind of things. Your your that was that hormone that it releases. Oxytocin. Okay. You know, the feel good hormones, mm -hmm. you know. And we it's, feel good. scientists say it actually makes you live longer, like it works. So so spice your marriage with all of this that we have said. Yes. And you will see that divorce will be a very distant thing. Mm. A very di in fact, you will not see it in your dictionary anymore. Mm. The thing will just erase. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But at least you will, not think, you will not yeah. think of divorcing your wife again mm. or divorcing your husband. Your relationship will be tight. Because sometimes love can actually fail. And when love fails in a relationship, these are the things you employ. These are the arsenals you bring to bear. And you will discover that that love will rekindle again and things will go smoothly. You'll find yourself staying together 50, 60, 70 years as yeah. husband and wife. And it will just be fa fantabulous. Let me put it that way. Thank you very much, Didi, Thank for you. being part of our show today. So we hope to bring you another topic next week. You want to be part of uh, Woman to Woman? There's a number on your screen. Send a text message. We have a social media handle there. Send a message. And we'll be able to like talk of woman to woman.